Good afternoon, everybody. The uh, No Nothing Cook coming to you from the No Nothing Kitchen. And today, <clears throat> we're going to try, I have here from my uncle, it's an old, uh, the Bull's Head Hot Dog Chili Sauce. There used to be an old diner in the Bull's Head section of our town. And um, out of business, this goes back before me, so we're talking 50, 60 years. And my uncle gave me the recipe that they used. And it's the Bull's Head Hot Dog Chili Sauce recipe. Now, you know me, gotta change it because it calls for one onion chopped, which I already did, but about a medium sized onion, and two teaspoons of cumin, which I don't have, so we're not gonna have cumin in this. Uh, one teaspoon of oregano. Two teaspoons of chili powder, two teaspoons of paprika, one half teaspoon of red pepper, which will probably become a teaspoon or two, uh, one quarter teaspoon of garlic salt. I used two cloves of garlic, chopped, um, and there's garlic. This is going to be strong and a quarter teaspoon of salt and pepper one can of tomato soup and one can of tomato sauce I'm going with a can of tomato paste um, um, one 18 ounce because it says here that you got to simmer it for one and a half to two hours I'm not going to simmer it for one and a half to two hours too darn hot that is summer here so I'm going to go with the paste and plus I don't want it to be wet if it's too wet I mean if it's too too dry I will add a can of tomato puree today instead of sauce because that's what I have on my hand. But we'll take it from there. This recipe will be down there. And one pound of hamburger. And what we're going to do is instead of uh, vegetable oil or, or olive oil, which I have a little olive oil, I'm going to use coconut oil because I'm getting uh, really addicted to this coconut oil. I really, really like it. So we'll put about a tablespoon of coconut oil in the pot, we'll saute the onions and garlic and then I'll add the um, uh, hamburg and I'll brown the hamburg good. I'm going to really cook it good. Almost, I guess you would say like a well done almost. So it's, um, it's you know, all the pink will be out of it. And then I'll add all the ingredients, stir it up and we'll see what it looks like. I'll be back. I like to use cast iron. I think cast iron is the best for cooking. I use it as much as I can. The uh, coconut oil, my understanding, doesn't really burn and it's, and it's real good. But we'll put this on for two or three minutes until they're um, slightly opaque. And then we'll add the beef and we'll cook everything down. And uh, Cast iron gets really hot too, so you got to be careful. You got to make sure you have your pink mints, or they also give you um, up there. This they also give you one of these things here too, like when you bite them. This here fits over the fits right over there. Let you grab it, but you got to stay on top of it because cast iron gets really, really, really hot. And we're gonna add the. Um, Gonna add the beef, and I'm assuming for people like Madison, CIO who don't need hamburger, you can probably do this with sausage or or veal or no well, sausage is pork, pork, veal, lamb. I'm sure it's gonna be every bit as delicious. And then you get the uh oh, uh -uh. I didn't prepare myself for this part. Get the hamburg and put it in pieces. And get it in there and then cook it around, break it up. Break it up as much as possible. Now the reason why you want to get this in a little bit quicker before they really get opaque is you don't want to burn the garlic. In fact, you could probably, and I probably even take and put the garlic in afterwards if you want. 
But I think that with the Hamburg, 80% Hamburg, you get a lot of fat. I think it's going to cool the, um, the uh, garlic down. And okay, you see how that started? We'll be back. Okay, so you see, <clears throat> excuse me, as uh, all, the, all the pink is out of it, and there might be a little bit of crunchies, which I like, which are tasty. You'll like them. Now it's time to add the seasonings. The seasonings all added and mixed together. Now the tomato paste. <clears throat> there you go. The final result. Now, if you add it to the, I think that's why they're cooking it down for an hour and a half to two hours. Because they're adding tomato soup. I don't want this soupy. I want it this pasty the way it is because it's going to go on a hot dog. And uh, what I did is I added, um, instead of two tablespoons of chili powder, I went to about five or six because I really want to taste the chili. Because it's supposed to be a chili dog when it's done. And that's uh, it in a nutshell. You know nothing cook. Appreciating you stopping by to see how he makes his uh, chili sauce for the in, the in the dead of summer. And we'll probably have hot dogs tonight. And if we do, I'll tell you how they were. If we don't, well, I can't tell you how they were. But uh, thanks much. I hope you like this. And comment on it. Appreciate it. And no nothing cook. Signing off till the next time. I got to get ready to go jump in the pool. Because it's got to be about 100 degrees real feel. Later. Bye.